students! Welcome to our module 3. Week 3 na natin, mga bata. The title of our module 3 is Classifying of Substances as Elements or Compounds. Bago natin simulan ang module 3, please get your module, module in science, your paper, and your pen. And don't forget to subscribe sa ating channel. In our module 2, we discussed that an element is made up of only one type of atom. It is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. Elements are the fundamental materials of which all matter is composed of. You may be more familiar with the existing elements on earth and their properties in the periodic table. Last week, dinescuss natin na ang elements ay ang pinakasimpleng chemical substance dahil binubuo lamang ito ng iisang uri ng atom or mga grupo ng atoms na tinatawag na molecules. Dinescuss na rin natin kung paano nakuha yung mga symbols at rules sa pagsulat ng element symbols ng mga elements. This week, we will be discussing about compound. A compound is a substance form when two or more elements are chemically joined. Water, H2O, and salt, NaCl, are examples of compounds. When the elements are joined, the atoms lose their individual properties and have different properties from the elements they are composed of. Ibig sabihin ng compound, dalawa o higit pang mga elements na chemically combined. Ang example natin dito sa module, water. Yung tubig na iniinom natin, pinanghuhugas at pinapangligo. It is composed of two atoms hydrogen and one atom oxygen. And we have the salt, the sodium chloride. Ito ay yung mga examples ng compounds. Ang compounds ay homogeneous. Ibig sabihin, pareho ang structure at chemical composition nito kahit sa ang bahagi ka kumuha ng sample. Fix ang ratio ng bawat atoms at nakadikit sila at naka-arrange using chemical bonds. Ibig sabihin, naka-fix ang chemical properties nito. To give us a clear picture, below is an illustration of an element to a compound. Spot how they are different from one another. So we have here an illustration of element. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung drawing ay pare-pareho, magkakasing laki at pare-pareho ng itsura because the element is composed of only one type of atom. For the compound naman, they are chemically joined. Two or more elements are chemically joined. Kaya naman, kung mapapansin nyo sa illustration, dalawang magkaibang element ang chemically combined. Yung isa darker at yung isa walang kulay sa loob. Ibig sabihin, dalawang magkaibang element ang chemically combined. Here are some examples of commonly used compounds or combination of two or more elements chemically combined. So, we have the water for drinking, we have the glucose, the sugar content, the salt or the sodium chloride, flavor enhancer, acetic acid found in the vinegar, and butane for cooking. Parati yung tatandaan na when we say compound, it is a combination of two or more elements chemically joined. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito nagagawa na hahawakan mo ang dalawang elements at ipagkocombine mo. It undergoes chemical processes. Both compounds and elements are considered pure substances. Pure compounds are created when elements combine permanently, forming one substance. A substance that cannot be broken down into chemical simple components is an element. Last week, pinag-aralan natin that elements cannot be broken down into chemically simple components. Ibig sabihin, pag kumuha ka ng kaperasong sample nito, ay pare-pareho pa rin ng kanilang chemical composition because they are made up of only one type of atom. Substances that can be broken down into chemical simple components because it has more than one element is a compound. Salt is made up of the elements sodium and chlorine. Water is made up of the elements hydrogen and oxygen. The smallest particles of matter are called atoms. 
compounds can be broken apart in chemical reactions called decomposition reactions. For example, water can be broken down into diatomic elements, hydrogen gas, and oxygen gas in a chemical reaction called electrolysis. Some compounds undergo thermal decomposition when they are heated. Now, let us check what you already know. Answer yes or no. So you have four questions here at sasagutin nyo lang ng yes or no. Kanina, nakita natin ang illustration ng element and compound. Now, for our activity 2, all you have to do is to write E inside the heart if the diagram shows that it is an element, C if it is a compound, ME if it's a mixture of elements, MC if it's a mixture of compounds, and MEC if it's a mixture of elements and compounds. So in this part, you are going to copy and answer activity number two. Tapos na tayong magdrawing. Now let's move on to activity number three. Determine the composition of the following compounds. Example, the name of the compound is sulfur dioxide. The chemical formula is capital SO2. Elements in the compound, there is one atom of sulfur and two atoms of oxygen. So you have one, two, three, four, five compounds, chemical formula, and all you have to do is to write the elements in the compound. An element is made up of only one type of atom. It is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. Tandaan niyo yun, mga bata ha, that elements cannot be broken down into any other substance. Tandaan niyo na pare-pareho lang lagi ang kanilang chemical composition kahit pagpira-pirasuhin mo man sila or kumuha ka ng maliit na sample nito. A compound is a substance form when two or more elements are chemically joined. Example, H2O. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom oxygen are chemically joined. Activity number four. List down all the elements and compound we have studied or you have researched and identify their uses. Example of the element name is aluminum. Chemical symbol is capital A-L. Capital A and small letter L. Tandaan, when you are writing the chemical symbol, the first letter is always capital and the second letter is a small letter. Uses of aluminum, it is used in making casserole and it is also used in making kitchen utensils and materials in making airplane. Next, example of compound. Water is a compound or the H2O. That's the chemical symbol. The compound name is water. The chemical symbol is H2O. Uses is for drinking, batting, and for washing, and many more. Next, write down the chemical symbol of the following. So you are going to write the symbol of the following elements and compounds. Activity number five, classify the following substances as an element or a compound. Sa part na to, alam na natin ang pagkakaiba ng element sa compound or ng compound sa element. Kaya naman, sagutan na natin ang numbers 48 to 54. Ako muna ang sasagot sa 48 ha. Pipili lang kayo kung anong type of substance. Isusulat nyo kung element or compound. Our example for number 48 is pure gold. The chemical symbol is capital A and small letter U. It is used in making jewelries like earrings, necklace, and bracelets. What is our answer? Yes, you're correct. The type of a substance is element. 
element ang sagot natin sa number 48. Now, kayo naman sa number 49, table salt. Number 50, helium. Number 51, acetic acid. Number 52, carbon dioxide. 53, calcium. And 54, lead. Now, let's move on to activity 6. Complete the statement below. So there are five statements or five questions that you need to answer. Madali lang yan. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Malapit na tayong matapos, pero mag-review muna tayo. Again, when we say element, it is made up of only one type of atom. It is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. A compound is a substance form when two or more elements are chemically joined. So for the last part of your activity, you are going to complete the statement below. I am like a and because. So lahat ng natutunan nyo ay maa-apply nyo sa last part ng activity na to. Tapos na tayo! Natapos na natin ang Module 3, Classifying of Substances as Elements or Compounds. Again, when we say element, it is made up of only one type of atom. It is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. And when we say compound, it is a substance form when two or more elements are chemically joined. Kung meron pang hindi maunawaan or may nais itanong, pwedeng-pwede niyong i-message ang inyong science teacher. O paano? Antayin ko kayo sa module 4 ha? Tandaan, sa panahon ngayon, mga bata, ang kalusugan ang importante sa lahat. Huwag niyo rin kalimutan i-click ang subscribe button para naman updated kayo sa susunod nating mga module discussion. Paalam!